colonialism produced three adages the savajada the blackada and the orientalada now it's very interesting to note that each of these ada had a primary locus for example savajada of course the savajada did exist in the european periphery in the form of the albanian muslim or the scandinavian lapps but the epicenter where the savage other was located was the americas australia so the savage other was conceptualized in a manner that a justification was provided for his being civilized i am talking about the rationale behind the civilizing mission launched by the colonial powers now there are arguments that the like thomas jefferson for example argued that the savage is um, as intellectually uh, endowed as a white man was etc but please remember the savage was not black he was red and it, it could be white also but i am talking about the intellectual endowment but there are some others who argued that no the savage just did not have had the kind of intellectual capacity and the most important thing was he had a society which was nasty brutish and shocked it was necessary to change that society it was necessary to provide him with the necessary equipments to govern himself well and therefore the need to civilize so that is about the savage father